I played Division One basketball at Colgate University. And over the years, I've watched thousands of college basketball games. Today, I'm gonna to take a detailed look at one of the highest IQ college basketball players I've ever seen and see what makes him special. Let's get right into it. Thomas Walkup played at Stephen F. Austin from 2012 to 2016, a run where the school went to four straight NCAA tournaments. Let's take a closer look at Walkup's senior year NCAA tournament game against West Virginia, where Stephen F. Austin was able to upset the three-seeded Mountaineers. I'm gonna break down some of the really small, nuanced plays that would normally go unnoticed when you're watching a college basketball game to show you how a really smart player thinks on the court. Walkup does so many great things in this game against West Virginia. Again, probably the biggest game of his career in the NCAA tournament. And a lot of those actually happen on the defensive end. So we're going to get into a lot of nuanced defensive clips. But let's first start with an offensive clip here, which West Virginia, this team, if you remember, was an incredibly aggressive team on defense. So they would deny wings. They would trap the ball. And I just like this play at the beginning of the game to start the game off where walk up who's in the corner here understands that the pressure is coming quick jab up towards the ball and backdoor cut. So watch it quickly. As the ball starts to move towards him, so as his big brings it over, this quick jab up towards the ball is what gets him open. And boom, there it is. Gets the defender a little bit off balance and he has a backdoor cut. Like I said, a lot of defensive clips and I really love how he's able to use his intensity and strength on defense. He's not necessarily the biggest guy, like I said, but he works so hard on defense and you'll notice that in the way he traces the ball how he always kind of has his hands moving and so on this play guarding kind of a non-shooter at the top of the key and he does a good job tracing the ball but what i really love here is you're going to see as his teammate gets beat a little bit back door here on this back door walk up shifts to the right one step boom takes away the back door and then gets right back to his man gets back in front and so he doesn't let this backdoor cut happen just by one quick shift of his feet and then he's right back in the play. And then also as the shot goes up, you're going to see time and time again, he's an incredible defensive rebounder, especially for a guard and offensive rebounder. We'll get into that too. But love this box out here. It gets an over the back fall to start the game. So a lot of times in college, inbounds plays will be scouted. So there's a good chance that Stephen F. Austin knew this play was coming, but I still want to highlight how in basketball players really tend to make these kind of lazy passes where if you can make a read and see it coming ahead of time you can force a steal and so this is what walk up does here as the ball comes out this little pin down happens and the ball is supposed to go to the guard coming off the pin down and walk up just reads it boom cheats in the passing lane like i said this was probably scouted but uh, cheats in the passing lane and gets a steal. So Steve Neff Austin just got a steal. Now they're in kind of semi semi transition. So they don't have a fast break layup, but also West Virginia is a little bit behind so they can attack. And I just love the pace at which walk up brings the ball up, not too fast, but also with, um, with some good speed, kind of reading things, trying to see what the defense is going to do. And when he realizes that he's kind of alone one on one against the big in transition, he just attacks him, gets to his Euro step, draws a foul. He's really good at drawing fouls. I think he shoots 20 free throws in this game. Just watch what Walkup does on this possession here. So he's kind of away from the ball as it gets swung, guarding a big. I mean, he's he's undersized here, guarding a big. 6'4", this guy he's guarding is probably 6'9". And just shoves him, pushes him under the basket. An incredible box out. And Walkup was a two-time Southland Conference Player of the Year. And he's doing the dirty work. He's doing plays like this. That's what makes him so effective and such a good teammate, um, such a winning player. Again, another high IQ play on defense, just a quick decision. As the ball is inbounded to here to the big, walk up, who's guarding the wing here, realizes that it's really crowded. And so he just goes in for a trap. And, I'll, and what you have to realize is that a lot of time bigs <clears throat> aren't very comfortable passing out of the post, passing out of a trap. And also, it seems like he's guarding a non-shooter here, so he can take this risk. But goes in, makes it difficult on the big, creates a loose ball, and who's the first one on the ground? Boom. He's there. And I think Stephen F. Austin gets the ball here. When I rewatched it, it looked like it was off on them, on walk-up, but they still got the ball. And I, I honestly think that part of that was because 
the refs almost gave it to them because of the hustle play. I know that sounds crazy, but that's just kind of how basketball works sometimes. When you put your body on the line, good things tend to happen. Okay, walk up showing some versatility here that he can come off ball screens and be really effective. And on this play, notice he reads that the big is a little bit far back. And because the screen is happening so far up on the floor, he has all this space around the free throw line to split. And so he comes off, little split action, makes a great pass to the corner. However, what I want you to look at is that his physicality on the split, the way he kind of holds the big off with his off arm, really pay attention to that here. As he splits, boom, swipes away the big's arm um, to give himself a path to make the pass to the corner. It's just a really little thing, but if you're able to use your physicality as a guard, uh, a lot of times good things will happen. Another thing he does really well is he's constantly moving his feet on defense. So he's in the paint, he's out the paint, he's pointing, kind of seeing where everything is happening. And that is why he's really able to make up for a lot of mistakes from his teammates even. So here there's going to be a back cut and he's able to just completely swallow it up because he's reading the play and it leads to a turnover. And so he, it's almost like he sees it happening ahead of time. He's ready to shift over and ends up in a steal. This is a great team defensive clip from Stephen F. Austin. Uh, I love the hands by the big here just to get a tip on the ball and then obviously walk up being really physical against the big, uh, not letting it just go in easily to the post. He's fighting, he's fronting, being super physical and first one to the ball, of course, after the tip and they get a steal. So this is a semi-transition play similarly to what I talked about in the other basketball IQ video, something that I've worked on over the past few years is this little kind of running through the pass play. So as walk-ups trailing the play here, he's not sprinting through, he's kind of jogging a little faster than jogging, reading, seeing where everybody is. And right when he realizes that no one's really guarding him, on the catch, he's already running towards the basket and is able to get that bump, create contact and get back to the line. So he's not just like sprinting through, it's, it's almost, it's reading the play as it's developing in transition, which is what you can do a lot of times because in transition, there's a lot of times where you're, the, the defense will be mismatched. So they won't be on the guy that they want to be guarding. And a lot of times you can take advantage of that. So here it's like no one's really guarding him. And so he's able to get downhill, draw the foul. Just another effort play on defense that also takes away an opportunity for the offense. So as his defender, as his teammate flies by, he realizes he needs to help up or else there's going to be pretty much a wide open layup here for Javon Carter on West Virginia. So he helps up, hands straight up, almost like he's ready to take a charge. The ball is thrown to his man and he gets back, quick little closeout. This is a really difficult shot if you think about it, especially for a bigger guy. That little eight foot catch and shoot jumper, that's not the easiest shot in the world. Um, so it kind of gets back and he's able to get his hands on the rebound. He's always in the scrum with the rebound. So just that quick show and then quick get back to your man kind of saves a basket for Stephen F. Austin. So in this clip, Stephen F. Austin is running an offensive set to get a back screen, um, which ends up in a layup. But I just want to show you how walk-up gets to his spots on offense. So he dribbles to the wing, and instead of stopping kind of here and, and then backing down and having a longer pass to the cut eventually, he gets almost below the free throw line, or uh, three-point line, inside the three-point line turns his head and now he can see everything and he's just closer to it just makes it an easier pass and then at the last second kind of backs up makes space for himself as he's reading the play perfect pass into a dunk so it's important on offense to especially as a guard to use your size use your physicality to get to your spots and push people off don't let a defender dictate where they want you to go. You dictate where you want to be on the court. I quickly wanted to highlight this really smart play again by walk up um, where we call this kind of like a take foul in college basketball, where instead of just letting someone get a layup or a dunk, you kind of, you take their arms off. You don't let them get the shot up, send them to the free throw line. And this is a great situation where the big on West Virginia most likely has a dunk here. And instead walk up just takes his arms off. Bigs are usually not as good free throw shooters as we all know. Makes him go to the line, earn those two points instead of just getting an easy layup. And so it's just a, it's just a smart play, a quick decision in the moment where he could just let him score, but no, I'm gonna take his arms off. 
Like I mentioned, Walkup is kind of an incredible offensive rebounder for a guard. He averaged almost 2.5 offensive rebounds a game throughout his uh, entire career, which are kind of insane numbers for someone his size. But watch on this shot how he's able to read and track the ball. Comes in, and it's like he knows where the ball is going to come off. He's, he's watching it as it's coming off and gives himself an opportunity to get that offensive rebound just because he's going towards the basket. And so, again, gets the rebound as the play develops, comes off, makes a pretty good pass, and he's in there again. <laughs> he's back in the play again. And I like that because in this case, West Virginia has the ball. There's no chance of walk up getting the ball here. But <laughs> just because he's in the scrum, because he's given himself the opportunity by getting under the basket, getting in there, being physical, he actually comes up with the ball. And it's just an important reminder that by putting yourself in position in basketball to be successful, a lot of times things will kind of come to you. And so if you put yourself in the right spots in the court, if you cut, if you cut well, if you, if you go for every offensive rebound, if you're in the right spots on defense, it's like good things will happen. And so I love that he's, he seems to almost always be in the right spots. And offensive rebound, a lot of times it's, it's effort. It's an effort thing. Like I said, this guy was two-time player of the year in his conference. He doesn't need to be running in for every offensive rebound, and yet he does it every time. Okay, here, Stephen F. Olsen is in semi-transition defense, and I love this little show on the spin by Javon Carter here. Um, Walk-up just kind of shows, comes over, boom, shows for a quick second, and right as the West Virginia player is dribbling back out, boom, he's back to his man. He doesn't stay for too long. He just shows and gets back. It's a really key part of being a really good defender. And then of course, in the same play, just notice the box out here. Always putting himself in the right positions. Okay, before we get to these second half clips, I wanted to mention that Walkup actually plays in the Euro League right now, which is probably the second highest basketball league in the world behind the NBA. And I just think that's really important to note at his size and athleticism that because of his mind, because of how smart he is on the court, he's playing basketball at, at basically the highest level. It's so interesting and that's why I like to watch him because I'm, I'm trying to learn from him as I'm starting my professional career. What does he do differently that separates him from even most professionals? And it's clear just from going through some of his games why he is playing at the level he is. So if you ever get a chance to watch a full game of his, really notice the little things that he does so well, how he cuts, how he goes for every offensive rebound, how he uses his physicality, how he's able to get to his spots. Not even, he, it's not like he has crazy dribble moves or anything, he is really skilled, I'll give you that. There's gonna be a couple plays you'll see where he shows off this skill. But a lot of times it's, it's the small reads that he makes. So for instance, again, on defense, he is on the help side, rotates over, doesn't give up a layup, and then as soon as the ball goes back out, he's back on his man boxing out here um, in the scrum. Gets whacked in the face actually there. But just that little shift on defense took away a layup. Again, watch him on this play. Sees the ball on the ground, first one to the floor. And again, the Stephen F. Austin, first one to the floor. They don't get the ball, but you can see that their effort, their tenacity, especially walk up again, is on every play, it's nonstop. It's interesting because walk up actually wasn't a great three point shooter throughout his career. I think he shot around 30% and didn't take many, but I just like this end of shot clock, notices that he has the big on him, jab, shot fake, and is able to get a shot up and, and, and hit it, hit a really big shot in this game. Look at walk up's reaction time on the steal, right when the ball is out, boom, He's out in transition, and I like this little finish on the other side of the basket so he doesn't get blocked in transition. Offensively, I like this catch here. He's catching it as he's on the run. Again, you don't have to do this all the time because sometimes it is good to just catch and stop and wait and let things develop, but a lot of times things are happening really quickly in basketball. You have split seconds to make decisions. And so here, walk-up catches on the wing, and he's already into his rip, gets his pull-up, I always say never never have this mentality to follow your shot. I think it's one of the worst some of the worst advice you can get in basketball is to follow your shot all the time. However, if you know that the shot is coming off right back to you in your direction, then obviously go and get it. And again, he's able to draw another foul. He draws so many fouls, which I think is a sign of a high IQ player. 
I just wanted to note this on defense, how his physicality, how he doesn't let his man catch it where they want to catch it. And so he's guarding this bigger West Virginia player on the wing here and just forces the ball to be caught a little further off the path. Maybe the West Virginia player wanted to catch it around the elbow and walk up says that's not happening. Catches it further back and then again, just constantly tracing the ball, making it as difficult as possible. Hands are up, tracing the ball. It's one of those little things that he does on almost every possession when you watch him. Okay, this is a good play for me to watch as a guard who's trying to post up more because as we as we know, guards can also post up. They can also use their size to their advantage. Walk up kind of catches it in the mid post area on the wing. A lot of players first instinct when they catch it is to just start dribbling right away. But instead he's patient. He waits for his guard in the corner to clear out to give himself some space. And then his move is a quick jab, quick shot fake, just get by. And I love that quick little move. Again, something that I wanna get better at. And so it's really something I picked up on to try and utilize in my games. High IQ players are usually really good at reading inbounds plays. Again, like I said, towards the beginning. And here, just notice how he takes away the big for a second, gets right back to his man. He's right back in the play. Just that little jump, if we can go back, just that little jump, boom, maybe took that away. Oh, corner's open. Nope, not anymore. He's right back, taking it away. Just really smart at reading passing lanes and reading where the offense is looking and trying to get the ball. Offensively, for walk-up, I love this shot fake. Like I mentioned, he's not a very good three-point shooter, but when you have a really effective shot fake like he has here, boom, <laughs> really looks like he's going to go up and shoot it. You're still able to get people off balance, especially if a big is guarding you and draws another foul here, sees the defender out of position and goes in hard, gets a foul call. So as you can tell, it's at this point in the game where he really starts getting aggressive. And again, catches on the wing, right into a powerful rip through. Boom, that powerful rip draws another foul. Knowing that West Virginia is a team that fouls a lot, if he can get downhill, create contact, he's gonna get to the line. This is a great play to watch when dealing with pressure or a trap. You back dribble, back dribble and then step through the trap and pass it forward. And I think he actually got fouled there too, but just a smart, small play, back dribble, back dribble, step through the trap. And then a lot of times you have an advantage because they had two on the ball. This isn't a play from walk up. It's a play from his teammate, uh, number one here on Stephen F. Austin. But I, I love defensive players who are able to read plays and get free steals because in basketball, there are always opportunities to get free steals when the opponent just throws a lazy pass, which happens all the time. And so lazy pass, number one here, makes a great play, leading to a run out for Stephen F. Austin. It's free points, and they happen all the time in every single game. Just a great rotation by walk-up, and I wanted to show this is it's kind of a teaching point for younger players when you're off the ball, you're not guarding the ball, it doesn't matter. You still have to be locked into the play because in this case, the guard on Stephen F. Austin gets beat here, Devon Carter does a great job slipping and the corner help helps all the way in so as this pass goes to the corner if walk up doesn't take this it's going to be a wide open three but instead of it being an advantage for West Virginia Stephen F. Austin does a great job rotating getting out and there's no advantage I want to show this just as an effort play watch what walk up does as the shot goes up boom crashes into the big gives his big an opportunity to go get the ball just because of that physicality, that crunch down rebound. Coaches love stuff like this, especially from guards, putting your body on the line. So Bob Huggins actually gets a tech on this play, the West Virginia head coach, which is not a great time of the game to be getting a tech, especially down 11. But I like this play. Walkup's just in perfect position here. And as his teammate gets back door cut, he's able to absorb the cut and take away an easy layup, which this would have been an easy layup on the back door cut. I love this pass for a guard going left. It's one of my favorite passes. That opposite corner pass is usually the one that's open because the opposite corner help helps in on the big and this is where the opening is. Far in the opposite corner, walk up just makes a great pass going to his left. That leads to a closeout and number 10 is able to get downhill. They don't get anything from it, but whenever you're able to create closeouts for your teammates, you're doing the right thing. Again, another situation where walk-up's just being really aggressive, sees his defender commit to the ball, and then shows a little bit of his athleticism by drawing a foul here. Um, but just a great, strong rip. His rip-throughs, especially going left, it's almost like his pet move, which we say is 
the move you're kind of your go-to move um so he's really good at catching and ripping left quickly not letting the defense react and, and get in position he's he's going right away so at this point of the game 12 point game two minutes and 40 seconds left west virginia needs to get a bucket here or else the game might be over and instead of letting them do that as they're pushing the ball they have to go really quickly walk up reads that and just picks off this <laughs> up the sideline pass i just i love that this may, might be my favorite play of the game because now west virginia is really in, in, in their own heads probably not feeling great like the game is really out of their hands just because of this great read by walk up let's watch it again because i just love it comes up oh i'll just throw it up the sideline nope <laughs> he's right there and give Steven and Boston another possession, another steal. Another instinctual defensive possession by Walkup. Sees his, his teammate getting beat a little bit to the baseline, so he flies in and then gets right back out to his guy for a block. And a great part of this closeout is he does it without fouling. So I think a lot of players will kind of run into their man as they try and close out. But if you can jump to the side like he does here, obviously he gets a deflection, which is great. But if you can jump to the side and not foul, that's the most ideal play. And then just to show that he, again, is a really skilled player, takes down the clock, is trying to waste as much time as possible at this point of the game, knows he has a little mismatch and they just go ISO for him. And I just love this little in and out as he gets to his three point shot, ices the game. Love to see that. And then one last play with one minute left in the game, he's still making great defensive plays. This is another read. If you see the offensive player start to dribble between their legs, start to do a bunch of moves, chances are they're going to try and make a shot, get downhill and create a shot for themselves. And so Walkup sees that and he just sits in the gap as this offensive player tries to go downhill. Boom, gets his hand in there, creates another turnover, another steal. I mean, the amount of deflections and steal, team steals that Walkup created in this game is incredible. The the best feeling you can have is when is upset, getting that upset in March Madness, something that, again, I never was able to do. Um, and I think a lot of that is, and they won by 16 points, and I think a lot of that is because of, of Walkup's, not even his, he scored, it's incredible, he scored 33 points in this game, and you would not realize it at all. Took 20 free throws, but his defensive impact, his impact on the little plays, on the winning plays, is what makes him so special and separates him from most other players I've watched in college basketball, honestly. I hope you learned something from this more detailed breakdown of Thomas Walkup, because I certainly did. And a lot of the things that he does, I'm gonna start trying to implement into my own game as well. Comment your favorite part of Walkup's game. Had you heard of him? Have you seen him play before? And let me know what kind of film breakdowns you might wanna see in the future.